Hey YouTubers, it's Steve again, broadcasting from Rescape, my channel that seeks to aid and benefit people by informing them and helping them change their fundamental perception reality and things like that. And today is week seven, I think. You think after three weeks in a row of not knowing what week it was, I would actually go back and check, but uh, I think it's week seven. Um, I do one a week, try to make them about 10, 20 minutes long. I'm gonna try to make them shorter now, see if that helps people watch them, help people watch them if they're not long. But anyway, today, uh, this week is going to be a continuation of last week about the idea of slowing down to really know um, what you want and, and being in tune with that. Actually, I don't know if I put that in the last video. What happened between last week and this week is as far as slowing down and taking your time and, and being more tuned to things. Yeah, I did. Yeah, about how you can know more about what you want. Now, now the outcome of being slowing down your day-to-day -day perception of reality or your your time reference or whatever and being more sensitive to what you want and who you are and then how that affects your life and what you're I'm going to start using the word manifesting. I don't like using that word because a lot of spiritual people like mumbo jumbo people will use the word manifest. But it's the best word to use, and maybe some people watching this are, you know, part of that crew, the spiritual mumbo jumbo people. And I'm sorry for judging you guys, but um, I don't think you do a good job of uh, of introducing your concepts to mainstream people in a way that allows them to actually take you seriously. And that's one of the things I'm trying to do. But I do. But manifest is, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use the word manifest. Now, man manifestation is not a mumbo jumbo thing. Manifestation simply means. If I hadn't used the word manifestation, I could also tell you, you get up in the morning and it's like today's Sunday and I have nothing to do. What am I going to do with my day? And then you start thinking about things to do. And as you think about things to do, some of them you want to do and then you maybe categorize those out or filter them or maybe you're like, well, I want to do this more than this. I only have so much time in the day. So you're structuring these ideas in your mind of like how you're going to go about that day. That is you manifesting that day. That's not a, a, a superpower. It's just simply... Just thinking about what you want to do, and then once you have it intended in your mind of what what you want to do, then what I, I call that is a manifestate a line a manifestational line. And the reason it's a line is because it's connecting where you are now at this point in time to where you're going to be in the future. Now the reason the lines are important is because lines can be strengthened, or like the probability of you doing that or showing up. You know, people like maybe throw a party in the last second, like half people don't show, like call in or don't show up, like. They had weak manifestation lines to that party, um, or you have weak manifestation lines to your friends, or both. Um, the other thing is you can cut them. Like, let's say there's an emergency, and you, you know, so you're not going to your work because you got to go to the hospital because someone's in, in trouble. So certain they come and go and grow, and certain manifestation lines will repeat. Like you go to work every day, that's a strong manifestation line because you got to have money so you can live. Um, and there's new ones. Hope a healthy person, I would argue, would always have new manifestation lines being created just to explore and grow as a human being. Now, one of the things with manifestation lines is before you have, they, cons they consist of two things. It's not actions. You think going to the grocery store to pick up food and that's a manifestation line. Well, the action is not the manifestation line. The, the, the manifestation is you having groceries in your refrigerator. So, and the action comes about, well, that's where most people exist. It's like, well, I'm driving a grocery store. Now I'm waiting in the checkout line. Da, 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 da. No, manifestation lines consist of only two things. The first thing is that you have to believe that what is going to take place can occur. Um, you don't have a manifestation line to go to the moon, you know, fly to the moon without an Iron Man suit because you can't, that, as far as you know, that's not a possibility. So you, you won't even, and the second part is desire. Now, the reason desire is the second part is because you can't desire something that you don't believe is real. I mean, you could wish you could fly or whatever, but you don't really wish you could fly because if you did, you wake up every morning and be like, oh man, oh, I can't fly again. Today's another day where I can't fly. But you don't think about it because, you know, just flying around like a superhero is not not a, not a something you believe can be true. And so you're okay not being able to do with it. So, and you can't make yourself believe something that's not true because your beliefs have to be based in truth for the manifestation lines to work because otherwise what will happen is you'll make a manifestation line. Let's say the grocery store is not there anymore, but you're going to the grocery store because you don't know that. And then you get there and it's not there. And so now your, your manifestation line has gone because you're realigning yourself with truth. So a large part of this is exploration. New manifestation lines will come about as an active exploration of just your day-to-day -day routine. Like you'll see, like you'll see an advertisement. That's what advertisements do is they create manifestation lines and you'll be like, Whoa, wow, that's neat. 
And then maybe it's something you've never done before. Maybe it's like a, a new bar in town. You, so you and your friend decide to go there. And the manifestation line ends at the bar because you don't know what's inside the bar or anything about the bar. You just know the bar. So another thing with manifestation lines is their, their network. So let's say you had been to a bar before. So now your manifestation line is in that bar and you know what you're going to eat and you know what it's going to taste like and you know the bar waitress there. So you're going to flirt with her and like you have all these ideas in your mind before you get there. And these are all, you know, as, as far as you know, they're, they're going to happen, to, you know, so these, these are what you're, what you're attempting to manifest these conversations and events and pleasurable, you know, tasty food and things like that. It's a good day. I mean, it's a good time or whatever. So, and everybody goes about this. If you don't have a manifestation line, you don't exist. Like literally I was at a point where I almost had zero manifestation lines and I was, I was te teetering at the point of insanity, but even insanity has manifestation lines. They're just not based in truth. So it's not a good place to be. But anyway, everyone has manifestation lines. It's based off the limit to your manifestation lines is what you know to be true, your fundamental perception reality. Then you base, and then inside that, there's what you want to do or what do you want to have happen in your desires. And uh, for example, one of the reasons poor people are poor is because they don't have their fundamental perception reality is not that they can become wealthy. So they don't have a desire to become wealthy because they don't think it's a possibility, and so they don't they don't make that manifestation. So the ancients wrote down that in order you can have whatever you want as long as you believe. And that sounds kind of corny, but what it really means is that you're not going to try to do things that you don't believe exist or can happen. So you've got to, you've got to get to the point, well, how do you expand your you know, fundamental perception reality of like increase the possibilities of what you can actually desire? And it's, and it's experimentation. Like, like hopefully uh, several or some things in your life right now, you have manifestation lines that are going to lead you to greater and greater understandings of truth and then from from that you can have even more manifestation lines like you go to that new bar you've never been before and and then you find out you know well it has a big screen tv to watch to watch sports games so now next time the big football game's coming on well you're going to be in that bar watching sports and you wouldn't have been there had you not gone there in the first place but but you went to that bar and then you expanded your knowledge or awareness of what is and in that case is what's in the bar so it's not rocket science. I'm, I guess I'm explaining it this way so you guys will know, like maybe in future videos. I'm going to title this manifestation lines just so when I start using this in the future, you will, you know, you'd be like, oh, okay, he's talking. He's not talking mumbo jumbo. It's just the way he's referencing, you know, organizing things or thoughts or referencing things so it can be simply sp spoken, and then you can be like, click. That's an idea. Let's run with it, and then you don't. And I'll have to re-explain this over and over again. So the last thing. This is a. I've taken me a long time to explain this, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna have one last thing, and that is with manifestation lines, they are part of a process. Like if you're a whole per human being, you check my video on whole wholeness. If you're a whole person, your manifestation lines. Most people's manifestation lines are gonna be based on wanting something. Now, to want something, there's also the notion or the background idea that you don't have that thing, and well, of course you don't have it. Otherwise, why do you want to get it? Except if you create manifestation lines off based off lack, like you notice that there's something that you don't have or there's some inadequacy in any way in your reality and you create a manifestation line off of that, that is a break. So then, well, how do whole people do it? Well, how do whole people make manifestation lines? Why would you ever want to do anything if, if there was no discontent in some way? And the way that manifestation lines work from a whole human being oh God, connected with God is that you there, you are part of a process. You have things going on right now. Like everybody has something going on, no matter how bad it is, no matter how small it is, no matter how large it is, there's something going on. So you have these things, and you don't judge them as being have gains or lacks. It's just you see, well, if I do nothing, what will happen? It's like, well, this is still going to continue this way, or this is gonna, these are processes. When you exist in the present moment, or exist in the immediate reality, and you slow down and you meditate, like you'll notice, like your whole life right now, you don't. You don't have to upkeep your life like specifically doing specific things, and if you don't do things, nothing will happen. Like that's the normal way to think. For, well, for most people, the correct way to think is that if you do nothing, everything's still happening. Like the universe serves you, so you don't have to do anything. You see what the processes are, and then you go with them. So, like even if you're have very few things going on in your life, the the manifestation lines. If that was a whole person. If you were a whole person or a whole person's in, in a life where they just became whole out of, out of nowhere and they had nothing going on hardly at all and 
how would they go about? Well, now they, they would trace the manifestation lines they already have going, and then they would wonder why they hadn't gone further than that. Now, the reason they didn't is because they didn't believe they could before, but now they're becoming more and more whole. Now there's more and more possibilities open to them. They're allowing themselves more possibilities by their by their belief, by the altering of their fundamental perception of reality. And then when, they, when they're when they aware of these new possibilities, then they select the ones that they want. And it's not based because they don't have those possibilities. It's based because they want to explore that option. It's like they want to know what, that, what that's like. And and it's completely 100% a process of exploration. Once you understand this, there's no cor corruption of power or no being better or worse than other people. It's literally just you're here for another 50 years. What do you want to do? And, it's, and people are like, well, I can't do this or that other or so-and-so's you know doing this it's like it doesn't matter like what matters is what do you want to do like if like i guarantee you that the limiting agent is you so so explore life and 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 even if you don't think things are possibilities go out as far as you can and just see what's there just make yourself do it like it'll it'll suck it'll there'll be a lot of fear and a lot of condemn self-condemnation and and you may may not even want what you're going for except for the fact that you're just fed up with life and you just want to try something new just to prove to yourself you can um not a pleasant way to go about it, but just explore. Just go, go, go. Just do something. Like don't do the same thing over and over your whole life, because then you will be dead and you'll have done nothing. So, metaphysical lines are important. Use them to explore. Grow your from a little perception of reality. Uh, it's really just based off what you want. It's based off what you believe, and inside of what you believe, what do you want of the possibilities that you can actually believe in, and just grow the possibilities. Just keep growing them, and, and that is the essence of whole. Wholeness is the es essence of rescaping yourself and what this channel tries to do. So anyway, this is Steve Robertson coming from Rescape, my YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comments. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.